Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to a new video after, um, some time. Yeah, it's been a while since I did like a talkative video, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm back. I think I'm back maybe <laughs> i'm thinking about um doing videos for youtube again because i'm getting new subscribers hello how y'all doing i hope you guys are enjoying yourselves here thank y'all so much for subscribing to me i really appreciate it and i will feel bad if i didn't post anything for y'all um, also, I kind of want to put my art out there a bit more, so I thought it would be a good idea to do more videos with my art and such, since I enjoy doing my art nowadays. And I also have pretty cool ideas that I want to do too. So hopefully you guys will like it too once I get them up and running. Um, Anyway, um, enough about that. Let's talk about what I'm doing right now. Today, I am redrawing an old art piece, as you can see in the reference window in the corner. Also, um, don't mind the, the other picture below the reference uh, window. Um, I was watching um, a, an art stream. I like to watch streams sometimes when I draw. It helps me, you know, um, stay drawing because the other person's drawing. And I didn't want the stream to distract y'all, so I just put a little picture over the stream thing. So, yeah, hopefully it's not too distracting. And stuff. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, this old art piece that I did on that I did on Procreate in 2018, or maybe it was 19. I feel like it was 19. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> um, my character. This is my character Luna in some cute bottom clothes. She doesn't. She doesn't wear these clothes off. Actually, she doesn't wear them at all because she's like a princess, so she wears a lot, a lot of dresses. But I just want to put her in some nice, cute, modern clothes. Um, I made a few changes with the pose and her outfit, too. So I used some references here and there to help with the redraw. Um, this was my old art style, actually before I headed on to the lineless style like I'm doing right now in the redraw. I'm doing a lineless style. I've been doing this since last year and a little bit of the year after before. So hmm. Um I went with no lines because I didn't really like my line art yeah i wasn't feeling my line art i didn't like how the lines would feel lifeless you know um compared to the sketch um y'all probably know what i'm talking about like when you when you start doing your sketch um it looks so lively and when it, and then once you do the line art is like the life got sucked out of it when you do it right y'all probably re re relate <laughs> um yeah i didn't like that i do line art sometimes now but not as often i mostly do line art with character sheets and i guess when I want to do line art. 
but that's not often like I'm doing line art right now for the flowers because you know you, you need to see I mean y'all need to know that they're flowers and not just globs of color so there's that um my art style now improved way more than the first few times I've done it. Here's some of my old Linus artwork. Um, though I mean I know they're kind of bad now, but it's fine. Um, I wanted to redraw them to see how much I improved and make them better actually. Um, how I got started on it, how, you know, I went on with the lineless style, I actually brought a lesson from tuneboxstudio.com and it is called Silhouette Painting Training. Um, it's real. It really helped me with my line of style that you know today. So I recommend it for anyone who wants to try it out. If they want to go this route with their art style. Um, I believe this was the artwork I practice on. See, I, I use a reference for this. And it, I don't know, I really like it. It's, it's nice. And then um, later on the year and such, I took some artistic liberties and made the style my own. So I'm not like exactly copying what the lesson taught me. So yeah, like have fun with it. Like you can look up different lineless styles to make it more your own um i, I want to try to experiment more on my style because i feel like you can go do so many different ways with it and stuff um but y'all can let me know if you guys want a process video of how i do my style now i will be glad to show you how I do my style now yeah. um nowadays I really enjoy doing my art even though it takes a bit longer than before like I can't really explain why it takes so long I don't know I, I just feel like it takes longer. I guess it's because more more layers maybe, I think. <laughs> but now I just do everything on one layer because it's faster. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it, it still takes a bit longer than before. But to me, it's worth it because, you know, everything looks so nice and clean. And I just really enjoy it and hopefully I can take this style the style even further um I think that's all I got to say for now um I'm gonna stop talking and let the video play and I'll see y'all at the end of the video okay I'll see y'all then bye bye
it is done yay um here's the old piece to you know compare the newest piece yeah i really like the new version it's so nice i also i i also found some fabric texture brushes to add texture to the clothes it makes it look almost real <laughs> so yeah there's that um anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm glad to be back i think <laughs> i i guess i should say i'm back whatever <laughs> so anyway um yeah i really hope you guys like the video um, if you want to stay tuned for more videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I also, um, stream on Twitch, so if you want to see me, um, draw and color in real time and maybe play a little bit of games, then you can follow me on Twitch at Nellino. Um, I'll put it in the corner so you'll know how it's spelled and such. And yeah, uh, social media down below. Follow me all there for more art. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.